This is a cat. A Schrodinger's cat. He is going to sit very nicely in this box. And in this part of the box, there is a redstone mechanism with a lever. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. This lever is powered. It is connected to some redstone wire, which connects to an observer, which points into this dispenser. This dispenser we will now fill with potions of harming, enough to kill the cat. So we have a loaded dispenser pointing into a box that contains a cat. Now, this lever could very easily be broken by, say, some water. Let's imagine that this ice is radioactive material. It has a good chance of decaying if we place a torch above it. So, torch. Now, in a second, I'm going to place the ice down, and it has, let's say it has a 50% chance of melting within the next five seconds. So, I'm going to place it down and we're going to close up the box, and we're going to wait about five seconds. Um, notice death messages have been turned off, so have particles and volume and subtitles. So there is no way of knowing what is going on inside that box. Ready? Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Again, we have no idea if the cat is alive or dead, uh, but then, but now I'm going to open this up and explain what all this means. The cat is alive, everyone. The cat survived this experiment. Um, all the potions are still inside the dispenser. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of this ice before it causes any problems. Uh, congratulations, cat. You were alive. However... Let's imagine that this box is closed again. Right now, if, uh, if I hadn't removed the ice, there would be a 50% chance that the ice had melted. Therefore, there would be a 50% chance that the cat was dead, and a 50% chance that the cat was alive. Uh, according to Schrodinger and the laws of quantum physics, this would mean that the cat is both dead and alive, because in quantum mechanics, a particle can... I'm, I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm not a, a physicist or anything. But in, the law, in quantum mechanics, a particle can be in two places at once, basically. Now, the whole point of this experiment was not actually to make a cat that is both dead and alive. As you can see, this cat is very much alive, and that is because we are observing it. As soon as we break open this box and we see that the cat is alive, or dead for that matter, then we have basically broken the laws, but at, when it is boxed up, in theory, it is both dead and alive. Now, Schrodinger designed this experiment to prove that this is kind of a ridiculous situation. The cat cannot be dead and alive. It is not a zombie cat. As you can see, if I let it, if I let it stand up and let it walk around, it will do whatever it wants to, unless it decides that it actually wants to act like a zombie, in which, no, there you go. So see, as you can tell, the cat is very much alive. And that is what Schrodinger was trying to achieve with this experiment, is to show that the laws of quantum mechanics don't really apply to the real world as well as we might want them to, because things cannot be in two different places or in two different states in the real world. Um, that was kind of the point of the, of the, the thought experiment. And we're going to let our cat roam free now. But, uh, yeah, I, I tried, I just wanted to make an, a video explaining this. I'm just a cat, by the way. I didn't even say the intro, did I? Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if I explained this very well, but I did some research just to make sure that I would, like, understand it and do it properly, because I really like this idea, how, like, if the box isn't open, the cat is both dead and alive, but as I tried to explain, it's a little more complex than that. I did some research. I will put my sources in the description box below, so if you want to know more about this, uh, credit goes to 
the uh, the links in the description. There's like a Wikipedia article and a video that explains stuff to me. So credit for like the idea and stuff goes to that and as well to the original scientist. He was Austrian. I don't remember his first name, but Schrodinger was his last name. And I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But uh, yeah, there's the cat walking around, happy as can be. And thank you for watching. Uh, hope I hope this made sense in some way. Bye!